Hey everyone, yeah I know, it's weird, a non-World of Warcraft video on my channel, but I love Souls games and I love Souls likes, and I just picked up Lies of P today and it's great. Let me know if you want to see more content like this, and the best way to let me know is by subscribing. I wanted to be helpful to all the new players to Souls likes out there, and give a quick overview of the first boss, the Puppet Master, as I was able to beat him on my first attempt. Here's how I did it, and here's how the fight goes. First off, the fight has two phases, but we'll get to the second phase when we get there. In the first phase, the Puppet Master is fairly easy, having just a couple of different types of attacks. As you can see right now, he's winding up and punching into the floor. He does this four times before he slams both of his fists down at the same time and glows red, meaning the only thing you can do here is either perfect parry him or run out of the range. It's also important to know that any time that you're far away from him, basically outside of his melee attack range, he's going to do a little hip check charge towards you to close that distance. Just be mindful of that, but it's fairly easy to just dodge around these attacks and slice back once. Another attack that he'll do is he'll jump up in the air and kind of belly flop. This attack does no more damage than a normal punch, but he has a longer windup and a longer recovery more importantly, so this would be a good time to get a few counterattacks in. Admittedly, it did take me a little while to get into the rhythm in this fight of exactly how his moves hit and when I should dodge or block. At around the 25% mark on his health bar, he'll explode and get staggered a bit. This isn't really a good time to go up and attack him because he recovers quickly, but it could give you time to jump away and heal. I should also mention, I guess his real name is the Parade Master, but I've been calling him the Puppet Master this whole time. When he gets around 60-50% to 50 HP left, he'll enter his second phase where he takes that long stick that's on top of his head and pulls really hard and essentially rips his own head off. Yeah, this is definitely a Souls-like game. In this second phase, he has some familiar moves like the belly flop and the hip check charge if you're too far out of range. Now, though, when you're in close melee combat, he swings his head on a stick around two to three times depending on the moveset, and you just gotta get the timing down of when to dodge that, but always remember, try and bait out three of them before returning some attacks back. Another move you might need to watch out for is he kind of does like a drill arm with his left arm where he just kind of tries to, it spins and then he punches you with it, but it doesn't do that much damage, it's just another attack. The game really suggests to you that you should try and stagger the Parade Master when he's around 50-40% to 40 health and his health bar turns white by using a charged attack or a fabled attack with Y, but in my experience, every single time I tried to do this, it just is such a long charge up that he'll hit you out of it. The only time I managed to do it was right here when he went full red and had a slow charging move and I happened to be charging mine at the same time. These staggers are extremely important for damage though, because not only does the charge heavy attack do a lot of damage, the kind of repost or fatal attack you get afterwards do a ton of damage, and then the boss is kind of staggered on the floor for a couple more seconds, allowing me to get a few more hits in, so huge damage just from getting the stagger alone, but I would say don't risk it if it's just too risky. Always play it safe in Souls games. So I'll just let this play out, and that's that for this boss fight. Thanks for watching, and like I said, if you enjoy this content and want to see more Lies of P content, please subscribe or if you're already subscribed, let me know in the comments what you think. Take care.